Good morning, everybody. Except Edgar. He's having a bad morning. Because he doesn't want to sit with me. Anyways, it's Saturday. I've gotten kind of back into the swing of being at work, which basically just means that I've been there long enough to be, like, so tired on the weekends. So, I don't know about you guys, but, like, ordering food from a restaurant on, like, DoorDash or, like, Uber Eats, whatever, makes me feel like I'm just, like, I'm, like, helping COVID. I'm, like, doing the responsible thing. I'm, like, not going out and eating inside restaurants. I'm, like, supporting the drivers and, like, having a good meal at home. But, like, something about ordering coffee when, like, I know I could just go through a, a drive through and, like, not even, like, interact with anyone. I'll have mask on, they'll have mask on. There's, like, the shield and the drive through window. <laughs> like, it, ordering coffee embarrasses me, but I literally woke up and I just was, like, I feel like a truck just hit me. Like, I had no motivation. So it's 10 a.m. I just got out of bed because my coffee <laughs> arrived. I got just a uh, pumpkin spice crafted press, I think is what it's called, uh, from Caribou. I'm not like a, I'm not a pumpkin spice kind of gal. Like I don't really go crazy over like the pumpkin flavored things. But I also feel like while I, I don't get super hyped about them, like you have to get the seasonal things while they're there because otherwise they're going to be gone forever. Like this is the time to go and like pick apples and like find that good apple cider in the grocery store because it's not there all the time so even if like it's not that good it's still like this is the time to get it you got to get it while it's hot and like be a part of society and like the seasons and just like get hyped on it because like I love fall and fall is super fun and so even if pumpkin stuff like isn't that good that's why you guys if you have a caribou get the crafted press if you only like a little bit of pumpkin because it's not like overwhelming like, the lattes and stuff are, like, you know, it's it's a lot. So if you don't like it, it's, like, well, now I actually, like, literally can't drink this. But this is, like, not bad. It's, like, a really subtle amount. So, I don't know. Plus, I think they're cheaper and you get good caffeine. Low-cal compared to the other drinks. If you care about those things, just doing a caribou promo. Apparently, I worked there, so support that place. Anyways, I was going to want to do, like, fun, cute fall things, but... I'm just feeling like a creature so far this morning, so maybe we'll have to postpone and I'm not even going to like act like I'm doing it today because it's probably not going to happen, but I do want to start like making the best out of my weekends because I feel like during the week all I do is just like get home and watch TV and like I found a lot of shows and movies and stuff that I really like and I enjoy watching and I, you know, I eat good dinners and I, I do have fun, but I just feel like there's not time to do as much as I would like to do during the week, so... I'm just going to try to start, like, jam-packing my days with, like, things that are fun so long as I have the energy to get them done. So, like, I would tell you the whole list of things that I want to get done, but I'm not even going to, like, get your hopes up. But I want to make naan. That's, like, the one thing I'm really set on. I just want to freaking try to make naan. I've never used yeast. I've never, like, I've never, I've never made stuff. Like, I don't know how to, like, bake and flour. Like, you know, if I bake a cake, I'm like, here's the box and here's the three ingredients it told me to go get. I've never, like, made things, for real. So I want to make naan because I have some Indian food here. And plus naan is just, like, really good. Like, I was just eating pita bread last night because it's just, like, bread stuff is just good, and I like it when it's flat. So that's the one thing I'm going to really try to get done, but we'll see what else the day brings us. So get your fall things ready. I don't know if it's going to be fall when this video goes up. Who knows? I'm so, like, not even having a schedule and, like, a brain about uploading stuff and what the timeline's gonna look like but hopefully it'll still be nice enough out for us to want to be doing stuff like this and maybe I'll just get some hot chocolate and basically I'm probably just gonna be spending money <clears throat> which I don't want to do but that's okay I'll try to think of cheap things to do too because I haven't worked in three months well I am working now but you know it takes a while to start getting paid <laughs> all right the video hit the five minute marker which means I've been talking too much and not doing anything interesting so I'm gonna go and just like do the dishes, whatever, get like my life ready for the day. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's been like an hour and a half. I've just been like cleaning and doing chores, but then I got bored of it and I was like, I can do this later. Right now I'm trying to do some fun things so that I don't get like demotivated for the rest of the day. So I did a face mask because I don't know if you guys noticed, but the mask knee is real. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna try to like get started because I have no idea how long this is going to take. And every recipe is like completely different, so I don't know. Apparently you need yogurt to make that. I don't have any, so I found like a vegan non-yogurt one. So 
but we're gonna do this recipe and we're gonna hope that it turns out if not I feel like I have enough things to make it twice if it really comes down to it also whatever I always put my camera on my ring light and then I don't turn the ring light on because it makes me hot but then I'm like that defeats the whole purpose of the ring light because I could I could have good lighting right now and I'm choosing not to like I don't even have like the same light bulbs in my kitchen lights so the lighting in this room doesn't even match but that's okay so right now I'm combining water sugar and yeast in a small bowl so I need a half cup of warm water ideally 105 to 110 degrees I have no way of knowing what temperature water is so maybe I'll just warm some up in the microwave I don't know all right there's for sure a cat hair in this also it's really hot so we gotta we gotta cool it down Okay, that water is way too hot, and I don't feel like waiting for it to cool down, so I'm just doing this process again. But I'm microwaving it for less time, so hopefully that will work. <laughs> Alright, we're going with it. Now we gotta add a teaspoon of sugar. So I have sugar, and I'm adding the active dry yeast, and now I just stir it, I guess. Gently stir together water, sugar, yeast, allow it to activate until it is foamy on top. So I might have to Google what that means because I don't know how to allow something to activate. Like, do I keep stirring or do I just let it sit? I don't know how to know when it's done. I don't know what it's going to look like when it's done. So I'm just going to take my face mask off and I don't know, come back and check on it, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes and then I'll check on it. So that's what the internet told me to do. Yay! back it's been 10 minutes my face is clean it actually like looks like the picture so I think it's it's foamed I don't know how much it's supposed to foam so I'm just gonna move on I guess to adding everything else so I have two and a half cups of flour and I'm gonna add a fourth cup almond milk a tablespoon of olive oil and then the yeast thing and then it says beat it on medium speed so um, I'm gonna have to do some medium speed arm motions because I don't have a mixer of any kind <laughs> also it says to use lemon juice but I don't have that and I feel like I didn't see that on all the recipes so we're just gonna skip it and assume that that's like an okay choice to make also sorry my fridge is really loud let me see See how long it stays quiet for. Alright, I'm adding our yeast and then I stir it till it's a ball, I guess. So I don't know. We'll see what that means. Okay, I don't know what I'm even gonna include, but I'm like sweating and I mixed it for like a really long time and it never turned into a ball of dough. So I washed my hands up super good and I like I just made it into a ball of dough myself. <laughs> so I don't know, I guess, if it's actually like mixed properly. We're like, we're just gonna cross that bridge when we get there, but I think I have it the way I want. Yeah, until a ball has formed. It was it was chunks of things. It never turned into a ball for me, so. Um Cover with a damp towel and let it sit somewhere warm for an hour. Okay, so I have to wait for the dough to double in size, so. I just don't really know where to keep it in the meantime. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. This isn't fun. I thought it was going to be fun. Also, I don't know. Put it somewhere warm. Like, how warm? Because they turned on the heat in my building. We don't control it, and it's, like, super, the floor is super warm. All right, we have our damp towel. I'm gonna go put it in the living room. <laughs> I actually ended up putting this in my bathroom. I know that sounds gross, but that's what was like the warmest room of the house. So <laughs> I left it covered in the bathroom for an hour, and I think it's maybe doubled. So the next thing that the recipe said to do was just like separate it into like six to eight separate balls. So I'm just gonna do that by hand. I'll let you know when I'm done. <laughs> Okay, I rolled it into the balls, and then it said to, like, roll it out into, like, flat pieces that are a fourth inch thick. 
Um, but I don't really know what that means, and I don't have like a dough roller. So I just kind of like punched it out until they looked like they were like a good thickness, I think, based off me eating, being like a non-consumer, uh, <laughs> not a baker. So I have like all eight of them just kind of waiting. I'm heating this pan up. In the meantime, I did also make like a garlic powder and oil mixture so you can like dust the top and bottom of the little breads. <laughs> so I don't really know how to know when it's good. You can't see, so I might have to move the camera. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this heat up for a couple minutes and then I'll reposition. We'll, we'll try to do the final thing and really just like fingers crossed that it turns out. Cause really with these recipes, like every recipe was like literally like vastly different than the one that I've like previously read. So I just went with the one that looked the easiest and the quickest. So who knows? If it's bad, at least I know that I can just try a different recipe and do it a different way and hope that that makes it better. But I read this thing that said keep them warm in the oven like while you're cooking the rest of them and I did that and then I pulled one out and it's like really hard so they definitely taste way doughier than like non from the restaurant I don't know if that's just because I didn't have a roller and I was supposed to like make them more thin I also didn't really stir it all the way and I also don't know if it was like if it had risen enough so there's like a lot of variables of like where it could go. Also, I'm like sweating, like glistening. Like I've been like sitting by this oven or and stove for so long. I don't know. Is it safe to eat uncooked flour stuff? We'll find out in the next 24 hours. <laughs> but basically my point is I don't think they're turning out. I'm probably still gonna eat them because they're like not, you know, they're not like that bad. They're not like unedible. They're just gonna taste weird. And when I do this again, probably not. I think it is worth spending the money to have the delicious, fresh ones. I, I think you need a grill. I think that's probably how they make them at the restaurant. If you're a real non-lover, like, don't even bother trying to make it. Just, just go and have them make it for you because then you know that you'll actually enjoy the real experience. But this was a fun learning thing for me. I'm making bread. I'm finally catching up on the quarantine trends now that I'm not in quarantine anymore. So, I'm probably going to just finish this up. I was editing videos while I was, like, waiting for the dough to rise or whatever. I, don't, I feel like I didn't say that. That's what I was doing. I'm gonna try to keep editing for a little bit after I finish this. Obviously, I just feel like we don't need to sit here anymore with the camera. Like I'm done enough of that. So once I'm once I'm done done, I'll maybe like show you all of them, do a quick little montage. But otherwise, I'll I'll chat with y'all in a little bit. I just need some some time and some space, and I need to cool down because I'm like. So sweaty. <laughs> Help me. Okay, so I finally got hungry. So I made some rice and then some chana masala. And then I reheated this naan to see if it would be good in the microwave. It's a little bland, but I think that's because I needed more spices. But I'm going to taste test it with some Indian food and see if together... It gives it a little more flavor. Here's my taste test. So, adding the Indian food definitely 
takes away from the blandness and the texture isn't even that bad. So I'm still anti this non, but like definitely could have been worse, like for sure. Okay, can we hear the fridge in the background? It's super loud. Also, am I in focus? Josh left me today to help his friend shoot a music video, so um, my cameraman is now gone, so I don't know if I'm in focus, but mainly I'm just here to say, after I ate my food, I got like super tired, and I literally just laid in bed for like two hours and watched YouTube videos and sat on my phone. So I haven't done anything, but I was like, shoot, because my whole day was supposed to be like, fill in the day with doing things, which I did up until a couple hours ago, just with like cleaning and rearranging like obviously I'm over here in the table now because he's gonna have kind of this whole video set up where the table used to be and so anyways the main point I don't even know what I'm trying to talk about I'm just trying to tell you that I'm gonna try to do some sewing so that's what's next on the agenda I'm probably gonna have to set some on my, on my probably gonna have to set the camera up on my ring light because from what I can see this lighting is really weird but anyways Josh was going through his clothes the other day and I decided that I want to kind of experiment with a pair of his old shorts. So I'll do kind of a before, and then hopefully we'll have a successful after to show you guys tonight. So this is just going to be my goal. It's like 7 o'clock. So I've got a decent amount of time to <laughs> try to get this craft done. All right, I have no good plain backdrop to show you these pants on. So the thumbnail sucked because... Nothing's working, but here's the before. Uh, they are men's size. They are men's length. They will be turned into a cute skirt. <laughs> Wait, why does this lighting look crazy? I'm not this, well, I am this pale in real life. Anyways, here we are with my pants. Um, do I have any sort of game plan whatsoever? No. Have I, like, looked up videos on good ways to do this? No. Um, do I even know how to convert shorts into a skirt? No. So, yeah. Am I setting myself for, up for failure? Stay tuned. I don't know. Like, it, like, I feel like sometimes I just, like, get really lucky. And if I try too hard, then I screw up because I'm like overthinking everything, like making it extra complicated. And if I just like listen to my intuition and let that guide me, I feel like we can be successful. So I cut it open. Now it is open concept, like a skirt. Uh, I also think I'm gonna try to leave the front the same. So I like pinned the back in the right spot like waist size wise so I guess I need to mark this differently then I need to unpin it and then I think the first thing I'm going to do is just try to sew down the entire back with like the new length that I want and then we'll go from there. I haven't sewn in a while I was like about to sew it not okay we got to do it inside out right that's like always the first thing you do Okay, so I think I'm just gonna eyeball this whole entire thing because I just don't know. But the nice thing about not having like any curves in your body is that you really don't have to like account for that existing uh, versus like, I just really don't think I could even sew if I was like a, a cute thick babe because that's just too much work right so I guess I, I always thought I wanted to butt up I always thought I wanted a butt but maybe not is I think what I was trying to say there so yeah I also I'm probably gonna break this needle when I go over the pockets because that's so much fabric but I don't know what else to do so cool we're doing it and then what comes after that? I don't know. Uh, doing the length, I guess? Because I don't know. Obviously, I have to make it shorter. It's, it's a bit long for my liking. So, this is not a straight line. So, let's sew it and let's just. Truly, let's just see what happens. I 
did all the pins backwards. That's so annoying. Okay. That whole seam, rip the old one out. I'm kind of just gonna leave it sewn and sew over top of that. Because then I can use the old seam as my guy. But uh, turns out I do have a butt and that is an issue. And I have thighs, I heard my thighs are existent, so. I'm just gonna cut off some of the bottom just because then I'm not going to be wasting thread sewing all the way down and I don't really need that. But I'm going to try to leave a decent amount of room so that I don't like accidentally make it too short or anything. Oh my god, there's so many pockets on this. What's with men's pants and being obsessed with pockets? I, don't, I really don't think you need that many. I understand girls' pants make no sense and they need bigger pockets, but these aren't cargo shorts. So I don't I don't know what the deal is. Okay, who knows what I'm gonna leave in this video? So in case I didn't include it, I re-sewed it and then I seam ripped the whole dang thing all the way down with that old seam. And then when I tried it on, it actually fit pretty nicely. I was kind of surprised that it just kind of worked out. So we are rolling from there. And I think that the length is actually good. I'm glad I cut it <laughs> as long as I did, because I think would have been like way too short otherwise so I basically just need to kind of finish sewing down the front I don't really know how I'm gonna do that because I want to do it in a way that looks normal I guess and then I'll basically just need to do like the bottom hem and I'll pretty much be good sorry there's so much string around here from seam ripping that whole entire thing but I'm gonna cut off some of that extra fabric just from what I've sewn because no one needs to see that like bulging all over the place, right? So my only regret in this so far is that I think the back is gonna look kind of weird because the pockets are like now sewn into each other. Obviously I would never use the pockets for anything, but I'm just afraid that it's gonna look kind of goofy when it's done. So we'll see if anything I can try to like layer over top of it or maybe like tie a flannel around my waist or something to cover that up otherwise. If, you know, if it only turns out cute from the front, maybe this is just like a, an outfit for Instagram pictures. So no one will ever see the back anyways. Okay, we got rid of the extra fabric. I think I'm gonna have to pin the front and then try it on because I don't have to re-sew things again because I really don't know how to make it like segue nicely into itself. So I'm gonna do what I should have done just originally is like pin it and try it on. All right guys, I think like the camera shuts off like every time 30 minutes have passed and it's been recording for that long. So I, I think you missed basically just me sewing the bottom hem. I It looked like it was fraying a little bit and I, I know that I just bought like that fray, anti-fray glue stuff, but you have to wait 30 minutes when you use it. So I decided against that and I just like folded the bottom seam into itself like twice so that hopefully if it frays that part's okay I'm having camera troubles basically what I'm trying to say is I finished the skirt and I hate doing the like reveal when I look like this and I'm wearing the same shirt so obviously I can outfit it better and if I do that and I take pictures and it's before this video is uploaded you'll get them at the end but here is the final reveal of the skirt so, I don't know if you see these, like, two pockets go totally, like, into each other here. So, it looks a little weird, but I think that I made the front look good, and I think it fits me, like, super well. I was going to try to leave some room to tuck something in, but that's not going to happen. But I think it turned out overall pretty cute. It's just, like, a nice, simple, classic skirt. <laughs> So 
enjoying the skirt. I just kind of got distracted. I ate food. I watched a little TV. I took a shower, got ready for bed. And then right as I was going to like really get into bed, I was like, shoot, I didn't film an, in or an intro. I've been struggling to talk today, but I didn't film an outro. So here it is. Goodbye. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get up and get motivated and get Josh motivated and hopefully do some cool fall things since today I feel like I spent all my time at home but it was nice just to kind of be home alone all day and kind of just do fun activities by myself. So thanks for hanging out with me throughout that whole process and hopefully we can go do some fun things tomorrow. So I love you. Have a good night. Don't forget to do your skincare routine so that when we wake up tomorrow, we can both wake up glowing, and <laughs> I love you. Thank you for watching.